for us, the location is excellent. It's only about 45 minutes from our house, mm -hmm. and you are very close to the PA border, probably about 10 miles. Actually, New York City, too. Yeah, you're, you're the probably about an hour excellent. and a half from New York City, max. Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So we are out for Mother's Day weekend at Woodland Trails. This is in Sussex, New Jersey. And it is a campground review we're gonna do, and we're gonna tell you why we will never be back to this campground. Make sure to stay to the end because guys, the reason we are not coming back here is gonna blow your mind. And before you leave a nasty comment saying, why are you in sunglasses? check out the video above. All right, so this video is gonna be pretty quick because there's not much to review, but so the first thing, we're gonna use our, our perfect campground review criteria. strategy, criteria we have. So the first thing is gonna be location. For us, the location is excellent. It's only about 45 minutes from our house. Mm -hmm. This was one of the reasons why we booked here. It's also pretty close to Mountain Creek, which is in Sussex. That's a kind of a resort. It's, it's actually really nice. And you are very close to the PA border, probably about 10 miles. So actually New York City too. Yeah, you're you're the probably about an hour excellent. and a half from New York City max, but yeah. you're in a very rural environment. So for location, it really works out for us. Yeah, it's pouring out if you hear that. So we're under our awning here. The water's pouring off. Next thing is site sizes and getting in and out. The size of the site that we're in is pretty good. We fit no problem. We have our car up in front. You know, there's plenty of larger sites for your bigger rigs. Getting in and out, we had to do a little trimming of a couple of branches, right? But nothing, nothing too bad. All right, the next thing is gonna be level sites. Well, um, I don't think this campground knows what a level is. This is by far the worst site as far as leveling that we've ever been to. And we've been to quite a few ever. campgrounds. Ever. We were talking about, it was close to two feet off uh, pitch <laughs> forward and about a foot and a half pitched to the driver's side. So I had all my blocks out and the best we can get it was uh, side to side level and then front to back we're off about five and a half inches. It, it's crazy. It, we were literally walking uphill to the refrigerator <laughs> and sliding and the cabinets were, it was, it was a little crazy. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. So yeah, they, they definitely could work on that. At least the site that we have. Maybe, well, the other sites look pretty bad too. But <laughs> <laughs> that's the leveling, they, they don't have that down yet. And the next one is full hookup. So yes, we have our full hookups, which we love, and I'm standing out from under the awning and getting wet. Yeah, we haven't had any issue. Everything worked fine, so that was good. The next must have is allow pets. The puppers are here with us. They're enjoying it. Lots of good smells around. So allow pets checks it off. One thing I do want to mention about the hookups is the their way they're set up. It's very odd. They're very wide spaced apart. So literally the sewer hookups like 20 feet. Thank God we had an extra sewer hose. We'll put a link below. It's good to have one of those because we would have been SOL if we were here without that. And then the electrics all the way in the back. And it's just, it's, it would be nice if it was all kind of more centralized, but we made it work. All right, so our like-haves, and some of them are almost like must-haves, but the first one's gonna be internet. Now, surprisingly, we are kind of in the middle of bear country here in the northwestern corner of New Jersey, which is very rural. This is kind of what we call the, nor the more normal part of New Jersey, <laughs> but uh, we actually do like it up here. But the cellular signal on Verizon is excellent. We have five bars. We have 30 plus meg download speeds. I hadn't, didn't have to put out the big antenna. It's been great. The next thing is gonna be space. Plenty of space between sites here. That's for certain you're not on top of each other. All right, next like to have is not a lot of overhang. So that's like kind of half a check. There, like I mentioned before, there is, there's a lot of trees around, but most of them are high enough. There were a couple little branches hanging in and down that we had to take care of. But again, you know, we bring our saw. So that was easy to take care of. In terms of the next, the last like to have is a dog park. Now that they do not have, but we, they have a lot of trails and places to walk. So we've been taking Sierra and Bowser all around the, uh, the campground and they've been enjoying that. Now, before we move on, I do want to say, if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button below. And also, speaking of Sierra and Bowser, we have a newer channel just for them, the Pitbull Adventures of Sierra and Bowser, and we will link that right up above. Okay, so let's move on to the bonuses. The first thing's gonna be a pool. There is no pool here. There is a lake, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because we are here before the big holiday weekend, the set off of summer, but the lake looks disgusting. <laughs> it's only the second <laughs> weekend they're open, 
So yeah. Maybe they get a chance to clean it. Yet if you read reviews online, people say you can swim and fish, and so maybe right. they just haven't gotten it. And up you, and you could definitely yet. swim there, but it kind of looks like some like moss man thing right now. And maybe they're cleaning it. So well, I don't know, but I wouldn't go in there right now. <laughs> the next bonus would be a camp store that doesn't exist. There's no camp store here. <laughs> Actually, the main office is just that. It's an office. And the next one is scenery. There's trees mm -hmm. and there's grass and some rocks, but. That's pretty much all you're getting. Again, maybe they do have flowers and things that start to appear once the season mm, I think goes they on. That but now. yeah, we're not really seeing that. And the last bonus is activities. Again, we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. We're here second week and they're open. It's not past Memorial Day yet. There's nothing going on here. There's do hardly go around, any people. They do go around asking if you want camp wood. Uh, firewood. firewood. Yeah. yeah, that's that's your extent of activities. But yeah, not much going on. All right, so let's talk about some amenities that either they do or they don't have. So they have a dumpster. That's good. So you can dump your garbage. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> At the main office is actually two functioning bathrooms with showers. So they do have that. But throughout the campground, there's no bathroom. There's porta john So that is... No propane, no laundry, no basketball courts, tennis courts, whatever other games, the cornhole, dog park, none of that. Nothing that we really saw other than the campsites. All right, so now our deal breaker is what will make us never come back here, which we already said, we're never coming back. But it might be for a little different than you think, different reason. So number one, breed restrictions. They do not have breed restrictions. So pities are, are welcome here, no problem. The next thing is bad reviews. Now, I read reviews before we go anywhere. All right, that's how when I research. And this was a new place that we were trying. All the reviews were pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, really good, actually. Talking about the lake and the sites and, and everything else. So that checked off. Now, uh, landscaping, maintenance, the landscape is I mean, I mean everything's trimmed as far as maintenance it's it's clean it just looks really old it kind of looks worn down run yeah. down yeah. You know, our hookups, they, they look a little beat up. The roads are, are bad. There's like some Cousin Eddie trailers here. No offense. Yeah, but, but you it, have, it's just you a know, weird vibe. Like it, you it, have, it, it goes from trailers to like like Airbnb. It's, it's just weird. I, yeah, I don't know, it's it, a weird it, feeling. So It's like a horror movie. It's setting. clean. <laughs> it's clean. It's functional. But mm -hmm. we're just kind of giving you what our opinion is. All right, so here are the two biggest reasons why we won't come back here. And MJ is going to tell you really the biggest reason. For me, the first one's going to be the sites. Uh, as far as them being level, they are way off, way off. We, like I said, we've been at sites that are off, you know, eight inches, nine inches. This, this was like approaching two feet off, which to me is crazy. You were you were making something on a frying pan on, on the stove this morning, and it was literally going off the stove yeah so i actually had to go i had to take had out to, more blocks i had to there actually some cinder blocks laying around yep. i had to put cinder blocks down it's just we readjusted it's just again. way more than we needed to do mm -hmm. so we're, we're still not complete we're at yeah. least good uh side to side and the last thing this is the absolute deal breaker why we will never ever come back now let me just preface this by saying a lot of things were booked Almost everything was mm -hmm. booked. We couldn't find a we reservation. Talked about this on videos. Yes, for this weekend. So this is why we did it. But after getting here now and seeing, we're kind of scratching our heads a little we'll bit. We'll camp in the driveway. The, the cost of this campground, okay, with virtually nothing for two nights. Are you ready for this? <laughs> was $250. That was $125 a night to be skiing to the fridge and having no poop bags and no activities. And no dog park. No nothing, right? So and now again, we don't mind. That. Look, we paid a hefty amount when we went to Fort Wilderness, but you're going to Fort Wilderness, right? So th I mean, you're getting what you pay for there. Not here. No. You're not so, getting what you pay for. I, I truly feel that I can't speak for the owners, but they, it's almost like they're taking advantage of people. I, I, don't, I, I don't like that. No, I feel it is because it was, and we worked it out. It was $100 a night, but then ten the extra $25 was a fee for, for Jason and for the pets. So but, that's, but, but nothing for it. You're not getting anything right, for it. Right, right. You're just paying for a really unlevel site. So I know people hate KOAs. We do go to them and we've gone to other private campgrounds. You know, we go to Triple Brook, whatever. And, you know, those campgrounds always have activities. And Triple Brook is mm -hmm. way cheaper than this place and way nicer than this place. Right, right. And there's some local uh, county parks that we can go to at 30 bucks a night. Mm -hmm. And they have more facility. Right. So, you know, listen, this is not to smash the places. It's just our opinion. If you are looking for basic camping, 
this is a place for you. If you want to spend a lot of money. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't pay 100 bucks a night for no, it. Uh, no. So in the comments below, let us know if you have been to a place like this or if you've actually been here and maybe we just don't know what we're talking about. We came <laughs> at the wrong time. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.